23 past the hour, a rainy day in Washington and New York. And joining us now in New York on the set with us, Just Republican great. Senator from here. Arizona, Senator John McCain. Good Thank to have you. you right here with us. Thank you. He just recently returned from northern Syria, where he met with rebel commanders who are waging war against President Bashar Assad's embattled regime. That was quite a surprise to hear that you went there. Yeah, it was an interesting visit. Was it Everybody hastily? Says, I had to, yeah. Were you planning well, on telling people or I, I, wanted well, to go I, under the radar? Um, not, not by the way, I'm in New York tonight is a celebration of Henry Kissinger's oh. 90th birthday. Oh, well, so. tell him we oh. say hello. Ten. So Fantastic. he's, you know, one of the great men in our in our yeah. diplomatic history. I think he's he's been controversial from time to time, but I think he's one of the giants. Uh, I was there because I wanted to go inside. I wanted to meet with these people who are fighting. I wanted to meet with General Idris. I wanted to get an, a chance to see it myself and um, uh, so it was well, I've got help from the State Department and from the uh, Syrian opposition and, and you well. say Assad right now unfortunately has the upper hand yeah when you see thousands of Hezbollah pouring in from Lebanon the Russians increasing their armed supplies the Iranian Revolutionary Guard is upping their ante and uh, and the control of the air is the key element in a scenario like this and Bashar is using it to pound people both in Aleppo and there's a, there's a town called Kisiar, Kusiar where mm -hmm. they're surrounded. It's a key place to connect Damascus with the other parts of Syria and this fight is going on and people are being slaughtered my friend. Uh, we're up to now what 80,000 Syrian slaughtered? Some estimates are as close to 100,000 depending on who you talk to yeah. and the flood of refugees has destabilized Jordan. New York it, Times reporting this weekend Jordan being destabilized, Lebanon being destabilized. We are seeing this spill over the, the borders of, of, of Syria. It's turning into a regional conflict and a sectarian conflict. Sunni Shia uh, around, uh, proxy between Iran and Saudi Arabia and it really is very dangerous it's very very dangerous and I believe that we could still intervene by cruise missiles taking out their air on a runway providing a safe zone protected by Patriot missiles no boots on the ground no American aircraft overhead that would be um, <coughs> would entail a capture where, where of a are pilot. allies on this where where oh they're is eager Britain? to, they're eager to help France? the British the British and French but they want they need American leadership when right. David Cameron was in town last week he made a strong case to President Obama that we need to help look I understand American are war weary Iraq Afghanistan I understand all of those things but if this thing spirals out of control it will be a well it's spiraling out of control yeah, if yeah, you're talking exactly. about it, close to 100,000 people already slaughtered you're talking about a refugee crisis Mika that is spilling out beyond the boundaries it's not like we can just sit there and say and you've got Israel to take care of it and, and now Israel Lebanon is, is under threat. destabilized you've, you've got Jordan destabilized um, this, this continues Mika I understand your dad's point of view and I understand uh, there's a big uh, approach to this issue and I respect it I, and I've respected him for <laughs> the last 30 years uh, but we've had differences from time to time but most importantly we need to have the debate yeah so here's my question to you because yeah. I'm certainly not sure. here to defend my father's oh, position um, but I'll, I'll, I'll ask you this because really he wouldn't defend you oh god no <laughs> um, so no he makes me buy his books Senator McCain did you know that so um, no no I, re I buy his books oh <laughs> yeah. perfect that we're on the same in the same yeah. boat I, I, I do want to challenge you a little bit though given the fact mm -hmm. that Americans are war weary and mm -hmm. obviously you know that it is precarious to get into another war with another country and it, that it, no boots on the ground I think we've heard that before um, you know we've heard that mm -hmm. possibility before what if it doesn't work then what aren't we well, mired again if it doesn't work then obviously in my view we would say we've done the best that we can and, but and for the back. status quo but the status quo the way this has been unfolding is is also and I mean totally uh, unacceptable and by the way I'm sure you might recall when Bosnia there was ethnic cleansing we went in uh, with air power but not on the ground in Kosovo without a UN Security Council endorsement we stopped the ethnic cleansing there we should have in the view of President Clinton's tried to stop what happened in Rwanda uh, this is this is one a humanitarian crisis but two 
it's a, the strategic position of Iran is threatened by the fall of Bashar Assad. Uh, General Mattis said that the greatest blow to Iran would be the fall of Bashar Assad. And the reason why Hezbollah is now sending thousands of fighters in is if they, they lose Syria, they lose the connection between Iran and... So, so uh, help, And help. finally, could I just say, sure. the Iranians are busy everywhere. I right. was in Yemen. The president of Yemen said, our greatest threat is not al-Qaeda, it's Iran. They, they, re they remain. They yeah. have been. They remain the epicenter of terrorism, and they have been since 1979, and they're, they're not slowing down in the least. In fact, they seem to be speeding up. Let me ask but Could you, I just finally say, Mika, I understand the reluctance of the American people, but I think the president could make a case for cratering the runways, giving them a, uh, a, a no-fly zone in an area with which to base their government. The military side is cohesive. The civilian side is all over the map, as we know. So, do, so do we have an opposition Syria. that we can support? That was the challenge in Libya. If it's we the could challenge get them now. Just, Who is the opposition that we can turn weapons over to without worrying about them turning them on us a year or two from well, now? Well, I'd give them right to General Idris, the leader of their military, and I would move their civilian side into Syria. When they're outside, they don't have effect. They're disconnected from the people that are fighting and dying. And I met these young fighters, these battalion commanders. I met 19 of them. They're tough, they're hardened, but they're, they're really, if the word is in anger, they're very disappointed that we haven't helped them more yeah. while these weapons are moving in to, that are slaughtering their people. All right. All right, Senator John McCain, thank you very much. Thank for you, Senator. We didn't even talk about the IRS. It's no. great. Oh, my gosh, I know. You know what? You ought to You're just next. That one Scarborough is next. <laughs> I know. They're coming after me. They're coming after me. How about those? With good videos. reason. Yeah. How about the Star Trek video? I don't get it. The video is Why we'll do they keep doing these Unbelievable. things? Unbelievable. GSA, the IRS. <laughs> you, do they not know? But I just mentioned one thing out? about that. Yeah. Uh, after Iran Contra, it was proven the president was wrong. He went on national television and said, I was wrong, I take responsibility. I think we may reach that with the president, this president of the United States, m maybe, but Americans, what about Eric Americans will should, forgive. Should Eric Holder resign? I, I can't tell him to do that, but he ought to ask himself if he's help, really helping the president of the United States now. But uh, Americans will forgive, but they want, and they want to move on, but they want to place res responsibility and then move on. Yeah. Okay. All Thank right, you. Senator John McCain, Thank thanks you, very much. Thanks. Good to see you.